What's happening guys? Sean here and today I'm going to show you the really new, brand new, cool marketplace on the Android market. Um, it's really brand new and cool because there's new categories for sorting your apps as far as trending apps and free apps and all types of different new categories. As well as that you can rent movies, you can also buy books all in the Android marketplace and it's brand new. I'm going to show you what all these features do on the phone. So here in the marketplace you just press the marketplace right here. Now. Uh, a couple of the rules for getting this new Marketplace app is um, it's only for, as far as listed uh, from Google, it's only for the new 2.2 plus versions of the Android OS. So um, some of the phones are getting it, some of the phones aren't. It's new, there's not an official list out just yet, but it should be coming. So just give an idea as far as um, check for those updates on your Marketplace app. See if you can get this brand new cool Marketplace. Um, now what we have here is quite a few cool things. Um, like I said, we have our apps like before, games like before, but now we have books and movies as well. And you can see right here a whole new, a new different style. So I can scroll from the top to the bottom as far as seeing what's um, featured. So we have a movie we can rent. We have a couple feature, a featured app, featured book, featured movie, another featured app, a featured book, and another movie, and then movie game movie or book. So let's check out the new cool stuff, right? For instance, how about the movies? Well, we might as well go back to apps. We'll do what's new with the apps, which is pretty cool. Um, different new featured page, pretty cool. But what you also have is, like before you have your categories, but as well you have top paid, top free, top grossing, new paid, or top new paid, top new free, and trending. That's pretty cool, right? Got a few more categories for finding apps um, because there's so many apps out there in the marketplace. It's kind of hard to find new ones and kind of hard for new apps to get a, a fresh start on the uh, marketplace. So now we'll go back to games. Like the same thing, you have your featured categories as well as that top paid, top free. Oops, screen over. And just the top paid and the top free there. So we go back. All right, so back to the books. Fire up our books. We'll go over to the top selling. You can see all the books, as well as that, you can see all the ratings for the books right over here. And if you wanted, you can even scroll. Like these are the ones that are listed right here, but you can keep scrolling. Go all the way down. Then we'll load some more. Go all the way down. Load some more. You can go for a good ways. Scrolling down and loading some more for the top selling books. Same with the top for free. There's free books, which is pretty cool, right? New arrivals, and there you go. Now, the one that I like to say um, I'm pretty interested in, and that's the movies, which is pretty rad, because um, <clears throat> if, you, if you rent a movie, these are all rentals, if you rent a movie on your phone, you can watch it on your phone, you can put it from your, um, and you can watch it on your computer, so you can watch it on your, on your phone, and you can go home, and you can watch it on you through your the same YouTube account you can watch it on YouTube and as well as that you can watch it on the Android marketplace so quite a few places you can all watch the same movie you've rented and I actually rented a movie I'll show you what I'm talking about so this is the movie I rented and because it's already rented I just tap play but let's just say for instance I did not rent this one let's say tap on something else like Sucker Punch this is where you can see the information about the movie as far as um, the story, what happens, we'll go less. You can watch a preview of the movie, uh, reviews, and related. We'll go, like even if you wanted to rent this one, for instance, just tap rent. And you have to t punch in your um, account. So if you wanted a, uh, your Google account along with a card to actually do the purchase. Then when, you have, then you, when, you're, when you're ready, just hit accept and buy. And one note for the videos is like, like you can see right here, um, you have 30 days to watch the video. Once you've started the video, you have 24 hours to finish it. So for instance, um, if you don't watch the video at all in 30 days, 30 days, it's gone. But if you watch it, you can watch it, um, let's say a two hour movie, you can watch it you know, 10, 12, 12 times in a full day, but that's watching it continually for 24 hours. But for instance, like I said, um, 24 hours from when you first start the movie. And that continues on all the different platforms. So you can start it on your phone. Maybe you're taking the bus ride home, start it on your phone. When you, get, when you get home, finish it on your computer. But let's check out the movie I've already downloaded. It's uh, Take Me Home Tonight. It's a really cool comedy. We'll just hit play. And it gives you this warning right before you um, 
right before you fire it up for the first time. It lets you know, hey, this is starting your 24-hour um, timetable, so it just lets you know. So if you're ready, you just hit OK. Movie buffers, and then boom, it plays, which is just awesome. It's streaming straight to my phone. I don't want to play the whole movie because then you guys, I'd probably get in trouble. <laughs> we'll pause it. And I'll go back to, um, go back one. Go to manage offline, this little guy right here. Tap this guy. And this, and this is where you can download the movie to your phone so you're not streaming it. So if you're at home, like, man, I want to rent a movie to watch on the bus or on the train or wherever you're going, but I don't have internet on the train or the bus. Tap this guy right here. And then once you hit done, it'll be downloaded on your phone. Download on Wi-Fi. But the one thing, the only downside to down, downloading it to your phone is if you select that option, then you cannot watch it on your computer. So just as far as you know um, how that all works because it's the new system on the new Android Marketplace. Now, there's one last thing I'd like to show you, and that is um, when you first get a movie, you have to download the video app, which is videos from Google, this little guy right here. It'll prompt you inside of the uh, Marketplace to download it. So just to let you know what, um, what that guy is. And as well as that, um, we have the Google Books. And like I said, I just earlier I showed you how we had free books. I downloaded a free book just earlier. Tap on that guy, Sherlock Holmes. And there you go. Free book on our phone with the brand new Marketplace. Um, as well as that, renting movies. A uh, whole lot of cool stuff. Um, brand new Marketplace. And to the video we're doing today is on the Motorola Atrix. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave me any information in the comments as far as um, anything you'd like to say about this video, as far as if uh, there's a feature I didn't cover or anything else. Um, also, you can shoot me an email, requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.